All right, guys, we're back. So, <laughs> yeah, I remembered everything but the remote. So, you know, you know, part of you has to be an engineer if you're going to do it, really. If you're saying, okay, well, how long is it going to take this thing to get up to its top speed or its perceived top speed? Because its perceived top speed as a puppy is not going to be the same as its top speed as an adult. So you're going to have to have some distance. So you're saying that from the beginning. So I've got to have something that's going to get the dog out in front of the handler organically. Not I'll put something out there. And if you said, what do you, what do you, I'm using that. It's called a shoe bottom. So if you said, well, an electronic check cord that a check cord is something that doesn't allow the dog to move farther forward and allows the handler to reel the dog back in. I'd say yes, this is better than that in that it helps. I can say don't go any farther forward, but I can also say come back in my direction very, very quickly, much more so than you could. Okay, so when's a good time to do it now. Watch, watch. Yeah, gotta be away from you. You wait until they get over there. Okay. They both get the shake off. Okay, good. They're going away. They're going away. And so if you said, what is my plan to bump that pager? Watch, watch. Here we go! He said, what did I do? I, I bent it like Beckham. I don't know how close you could see that, but you could see that it was coming back. If, if you do it when they're going at that speed, the turn is going to create itself. I think that's what you need to understand. I'm not able to say to these dogs first, throw your front legs down and then spin, pivot and spin. They don't have to do that anyway. They're only doing it as a function of that's the most direct line back to the handler. So that's how I'm teaching it. It's a byproduct of, and I think if you said, well, how long have you known about that? And seven or eight years. If you said, well, I've never heard of it. Well, neither had I before seven or eight years ago or however long it was. <laughs> 10 years ago, maybe at the most, like, I don't know. I knew about electronic check cording. I just, I guess I didn't understand you could get that overt of a boom, 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 boom situation. Okay, so we can go out here. I'll tell you, it's cold as crap out here, though. Oh, I know what I can do. I can walk towards the, uh, my tree house. If you said, where did you get that? I got it in a place, a little store called Amazon Warehouse. If you said, where's that? That's where I go in when I fall asleep in my dreams. <laughs> Called Amazon Warehouse. Oh, I'm awful! He said, well, I would have beaten the hell out of her sister. This is a good time to do it. Watch, watch. I hope you're not... Oh, Cassini's not on this channel. Anyway, I can try walking that way. If I had to guess, nosy butt shoe bottom. We'll run towards that box. And if you said, what is my strategy? My strategy is to get any existing momentum that is going that way and turn it back in my direction using the cue, oh, she's getting ready to get mad, of the pager as the, uh, he said, what is she eating? Oh, a clump of grass that fell off the lawnmower. They like to eat that grass. I'm going to pull out everything I got. She likes it. It's like a video girl. She's like Pac-Man. And they're the little whatever they were in the Pac-Man. <laughs> Listen to them as rock and roll. Shh. 
And I think what you have to understand, the reason I'm using the pan, one, I'm losing my voice because it's so cold out here. But two, that dinner bell scenario, that's probably why Pavel I've used a bell. I understand the trajectory of the sound is maybe more powerful. Whatever. That's why they had bells back in the day. That's why they still have church bells. You can hear this stuff from far away. He said farther than a voice. Yeah. Clearly. So if, if I can make this pan go farther than my voice, I want to give them every advantage. And I want to say my voice because it's hard to shout when it's cold out. Uh, yeah, you could do anything though, but I think the cadence does have a lot to do with it. Alright, watch, watch. OMG. So she she bit her sister's tail. Uh oh, uh oh. So if you said, when am I, oh, hi, Timothy. He said, when am I doing the page? Or I'm kind of doing it concurrent with the sound. So if you said, well, what about if you had like a bell that you could ring and the dog had a collar that was so sensitive it could detect the bell and then it would make the bell better. I'd say, God, who are you? You're brilliant. <laughs> it's true. If you said, well, that would just be, yeah, it's kind of like that. Anyway, I'm keeping score on, I've gotten a lot more pages on the little Luna. All right, I want you to keep an eye on her. I know I can bend her with the pager, so watch. There we go. Yeah, I'm toughing it out out here, Timothy. I know for people up north, they'd be wearing Bermuda shorts and flip-flops. If I had an intern from Minnesota right now, the guy would be in a Hawaiian shirt, Bermuda shorts, and flip-flops. I'd then be going, this is hopeless. I gave up on having interns. I did. I, I used to let people come here. I try to help them learn how to train and stuff. They were very ungrateful. They were very, very ungrateful. Not, not one of them even brought a hostess gift in with me. I told my friend Sophia that she's a very civilized Western woman. If you said what was her, she was mortified, Timothy, as any woman would be. <laughs> Timothy's like, yikes. Whatever this hostess gift is, I'll surely find it if I ever go there. Okay, so, but if you said the vibration from the pan and the vibration from the collar aren't that much different, you're just, you okay, well, guys, you got me. Maybe you're right. I, my response would be, oh, maybe you're right. <laughs> uh, that's how I say you may be onto something. So I also know, though, that I can, I can't carry that pan, so let's go for a walk. I can't carry the pan, but I can use my voice. <laughs> if you said, my hands are cold. Okay, so let's go out here. Oh, let's go see if the water's clear. Okay, hang on. Oops, uh-oh. <laughs> Look, I dropped the remote. Yay! <laughs> you little angel. You little angel, she put it right in my hand. She put it right in my hand. You little monkey. Yay. <laughs> I want to have the ability, really, as, as delicately. If you said, how... how how accurate do you want to be able to give them a drink? Very surgically. You know, if you said, well, okay, we're going somewhere. I need you to hand me money or whatever. Uh, you know, you know, if you've got kids or, you know, like, I don't know. I just think of, like, my little nephew Sam when we went to the arcade. You're just, you're handing them money. You're not, there's no, uh-oh. I actually, I really actually did drop that by accident. <laughs> she actually really did pick it up on purpose. <laughs> So the benefit of the electric, electronic check cord is the dog does, uh-oh, I just swear to God, I'm not doing that on purpose. Yay! All I gotta do, if I want something delivered, is pull my hand back. The opposite of pointing. Um, my hands are cold. What do you got north? It's cold! We're in 30 degrees! It's, I don't know how hot it is, but it's not very warm. All right, let's go down by the barn. Come on. I got to get rid of this charger thing. Hang on. If I carry this, I'll be really be dropping everything. <laughs> okay, let's go. 
So if you said, what am I looking for? I'm looking for two things. No, I'm looking for a few things. Oh, am awful bottom. Oh, look at her. Jesus, the cruelty. So what can I, I can always just try to block her with my super shield phone. <laughs> it work? She's gonna get her butt beat. That's all I tell her. Do, do, do. No, get her butt. It needs to be blue. It needs to be black and blue. If I can get her going down here, she'll just go on ahead and just not bother. Oh, they made their escape. Thank God. Look at them go. Oh, she is awful. She better see a butterfly or something. Oh, look, yeah. Oh, hopefully she sees the neighbor does. Oh, look at her. Oh, it's nice down here. Oh, okay, look. The water's crystal clear. We'll be able to see the fish. And they'll be hungry because it's so cold. Watch. Oh, here they come. I think they see my shadow. Or they definitely see movement. Look at them. You know, but usually, I mean, the normal response, if you said, well, I, I want to keep the fish clear of a certain area, I mean, if you said, what could you do, I would say, well, I think you could probably go get one of those pink flamingo statue things and put in there, because they're scared of those birds. Am I wrong, Timothy? Those birds that wade in the water and catch them, their instinct is, I think one of my initial observation is they were afraid of your shadow. As time went on, they got over that. They're not even afraid of shoe bottom. Fascinated. I think you could do video games for dogs. I said, what is getting? It's just the movement's getting us. I can't take it. Look at it. Oh, now she's muddied up all the water. Oh, no good one. Oh, she didn't realize. She gave him the smoke screen. Now he can get away. Look at her. No clue. Okay. I can do it over here. Oh. Yeah, never mind. All right, let's go over here. <laughs> All right, here, let me do this. Let me put you guys over here stationary. Because then I have to go watch Homicide for the Holidays. If you said, what's that? Oh, it's a show with Chris Hansen. If you said it sounds really dark. It is. If you said that they even have a show like that, I know. It's season 27, too. <laughs> 27 seasons of this crap. All right, look at Shuba. All right, so what I need, what I'm saying to myself, is I need dogs at a distance that I can use the pager if you were to task me, which is what I'm being tasked with, to create an electronic check cord. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do it at a point when the dog is going away and I don't want it to go any farther forward and I want it to come back really fast. If you said that's too technical, we don't do it like that so well. Uh, I think any e-collar trainer will tell you the absence of Extreme technical detail is the absence of any validity. All right, so I got a puppy starting to run around. I got shoe bottom over there, just oh, observed, lost in her fish. That's, she didn't even know she's going back and forth, making the water muddier and muddier. Not understanding why can't she find them? Look at her. Look at her money, you guys. She's blowing my fish out now. All right, so I'm saying. If you're saying, you know, what kind of distance, honestly, if a little puppy, if I could get them, you know, something like way over there, that would be big impact. If you can do something like that young, if you said, well, nothing ever happened to me young that made me, it did me. I know many things when I'm young making me think things and sort of steering your life in that direction. And that's what you're thinking. If it is truly at all in how you raise them, as these people claim, let's do this. So I'm just going to start walking and count on shoe bottom. Look at her. You know that water's cold. Here, she'll go on ahead if she sees my arm going like this.
Okay, anyway, I'm a little lean as I put me in the bushes. She's so good. So he said they're always going to take off after they're pooped. Yes, use that to your door. Here we go. Here we go. So if you said, what are you doing? I'm adding a pager slightly before and concurrent with the verbal. I like to say concurrent, but I'm not enough of an engineer to know. You gotta count on people's reflexes. If you said, right, they seem to freeze up a lot. They seem to freeze up a lot. So I tell people to do a silent recall because there's no error in the timing. The response is directly connected to the collar, not your voice. So if your timing is off, it's not even possible to be off <laughs> of that without just, you know, in that way. Okay, so I'm looking to see if I'll kind of chase after her. She's looting, looting. Oh, she's awful. So what are they doing? Oh, they're just looking at me. So all I'm doing is, if you said initially you were just bending the head, now you're sort of adding the behavior of running, yes, and that's how you're doing it. You're adding the turn as the start of the relay race. I mean, you said dogs don't like to chase them, yeah, but I know they do. They don't like to chase things, yeah, but I know they do. You said, I'm, I'm, what's the biggest mistake these people make? They're a chronically stationary handler. If you said, what does that mean? In a dog's mind, it doesn't make you very likable. If you said, they like things that move around. Okay, so they're over there wrestling and fighting. You, you've got to just go on. If they turn around to see something moving, they're going to be predisposed to move after it. If they turn around and see you standing there, well, they may have any number of reactions. Oh, yeah, she stirred up all the mud. I can't even believe her. Look at her. She's awful. Okay, so I got my eye on them. And these have the weaker pager. And you just, there's nothing but the pager. They're on zero. And the continuous on these has been factory disconnected. <laughs> you said, what do you mean, why? I made them do it. <laughs> I, before, I can show you old videos. I had a quarter taped over the damn thing. So you would never hit it by accident. She said it was that bad. Yeah, that bad. <laughs> I have to tape it over so I don't hit it by accident. But the general public is capable of what? <laughs> Please. I said, are you effing kidding me? I can still remember the day. I was sitting at my kitchen counter. The thing came out. I took one look at it and called them in a rage. Okay, here we go, here we go. Why Rico? Said all you did was harness the ex yeah all I did was harness the existing momentum, and I hijacked the impulse and I got that same speed. And if you said what are you adding, especially for a puppy, as much movement as possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah this thing is sticking out like a sore thumb. Oh my God, look at it. I honestly think you could get clothing. 
He said, I need all the help I can wear white. Wear white. Wear white. And I think you could invent, honestly invent something called a flasher jacket that would even give you more of an advantage. You know, I do. If I've got these things in my hand, I'll... All right, look, look, look. That buddy's way over there. Oh, crap. All right, but that's my default. Yay! <laughs> Yay! So you said you mean it just runs at you? It just runs at the handler? Yeah. Mm -hmm. If it doesn't do that... If I said, well, mine never run directly to me like that. Well, then you've done something. You've done something wrong, and then you've done nothing right. <laughs> That's how you have to look at it. You've done something wrong and nothing right. Because if you said all you're saying to him is, I'll pay you to come to me. Yeah, that's what I'm saying to him. So how effective is it? Very, very, very effective. <laughs> Extremely effective. If you said, who else did? Oh, that mother. The mother played that one on him. Catch me and you'll get food. Yeah. She said, well, the mother doesn't run. Mother doesn't run away. That's all the mother does is run away. If you said, at what point? Eh. eh it's about three weeks. They're starting to get a little sick of them. All right, look, they're way over there. If you said, why did I have to do it a second time? And I'm going to tell you exactly why. Because they were sort of engrossed in, in combat. So, if you said where were they and why was that good, they were around the corner out of sight. So, if you said they're not making a correlation between your voice and the pager, how could they not be? And they're happening at the same time. They're even happening at the same time when they can't see me. They'd have to be an idiot not to figure it out. All right, let's just go on a little walk, and then i got to go watch Homicide for the Holidays. You said what it is. It's, just, it's interesting from the behaviorist viewpoint. These people are so... Awful! There is such a thing. There's awful dogs. There's awful people. There's awful horses. And awful, if you said, what's the deal with awful horses? They're dangerous. Back in the days, I mean, if horses were dangerous, oh, you little Luna. She got me the remote. They killed them. They didn't let them hurt people. I, I, I feel that more than ever now. I think any adult would have to say, if you said, you mean... Rather than take a chance, some child would be injured in the future. You'd rather, say, put a pit bull with a bite history down. What the hell's wrong with you? <laughs> yeah, oh, I'm sick in the head. That's what's wrong with me. Yeah, I'm sick. I still don't forget that one girl. I don't, I can't remember. But she had been bitten in the face by this German shepherd, but it was her fault because she had reclined back in the lazy boy too fast. I said, Reclined back a lazy boy too fast. Yeah, that's what the grandparents had told her. I, you know, this girl's like eight years old or something. Yeah, no, that's it's definitely your fault. Jesus Christ, kid. I mean, if, you, if they if they teach you one thing, it's life. How to recline back in a lazy boy the right way. Jesus, boy, did you deserve what you got. The, your face permanently scarred. Jesus, I hope you learned your lesson. I hope you didn't do a lazy boy wrong again. <laughs> I... You know, and this girl was, I don't know, she's in her 20s by this time. And I said, no, girl, no. 
what it was was they they failed to use common sense and allowed a child in the vicinity of a dangerous dog and the kid was bitten in the face. Okay, look, look, here's what we got. Oh, and perfect. Oh, and perfect. Alright. He's not far away. <laughs> oh, she's not looking. She's gonna go. She's gonna go. She's gonna get him. I recall! Yay! <laughs> she said, oh. 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 Oh yeah. Oops. Hang on. Oh yeah. I. I. Changed the story. I made the option of coming to the handler. And she said, "Well, they've always got a couple different choices." Yeah, yeah, yeah they've always got a couple different. He's like, "Well, they can run with it this way. They can run that way. They've always got more than one choice." That's what you have to say to yourself. They've always got more than one choice. You're just making the bias, the choice of coming back to the handler. And if you said, what's the best way to do that? Make it no strings attached. Here's your prices. I've got your cookies here. No, that's not. I will get you all shirts that says, I've got your cookies here. That's the character you're playing, not the disciplinarian who said, if you said, well, that just doesn't work. It just doesn't work. All right, watch, watch. Bye, Rico! Get a puppy. <laughs> I better get a puppy. <laughs> Yay. So if you said, what did you do? I went click, click, click. And if you said, what was it doing? It was probably still going forward as I was kind of clicking. Watch, watch. <laughs> if you said, no, I saw you sling at that time. I saw myself sling at that time. And if you said what, it, it ends up kind of looking like they're round in a curve. And it's, it's, if you said what, it wasn't moving that, yeah, not one moving that much. It, it's still kind of banking off that turn. Anyway, guys, that's where we're at. That's Puppy Pager. This is maybe the third time. I don't think I even got him out yesterday. I can't remember what happened. Oh, I remember what happened. It was bitter cold. It's nice down here, though. But if you said I... I oh, shit. I hope you saw that fish tail. Um, You know, I know better ways to get puppies to come. I'd say... What? <laughs> How? If you said that's not going to work when they get older. Huh? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Is that it? Oh boy, now the water's clear and now here goes Muddy Paws. Cloud it all up again. <laughs> and she's not, not stuck at all. Look at her. She's a cat's first one. Oh, she, <laughs> oh now it's. Now you muddied it all up again. <laughs> That's what you've got to say to yourself, though. If I want a fast recall, I've got to afford the dog. You know. In enough distance. Yay! To get some speed up. If you said, well, I'm just doing a six foot. And they can't get up to full speed at six feet. If you said, well, what about a 15 foot lead? Uh, no. That I know of, you're you're not gonna get them up to full speed on a 15 line. The farther away they are, the more chance you have to get speed. If you said why, because you can tap into catch me if you can. If I had to guess, that was maybe the skid marks from one of the puppies. Uh, you're tapping into the close the gap drill. And if you said, what is that? That's a behavior animals have to always have a little bit extra gun to try to. If you said, what's the difference between predators and prey if they have the same level of intelligence? According to this recent study, they have a more neuron dense brain, which is able to maybe call on a little more of a reserve at some point to give them an advantage over the prey. 
It just can't be completely equal all the time. You gotta have some advantage. If your life depends on it. All right, watch, watch, watch. Way over there, watch. Hi, Rico! So, anyway, I hope you could see that, but I'm just bumping them. If you should tell me what you're doing, I'm bumping them with the pager, and I'm immediately adding. I tripled the distance. They were here, but before, I, I was way over there before I even called them. If you said, well, they couldn't tell from the sound of your voice that you were far away and traveling away, my response to that would be the hell they couldn't. That's all they can tell. If they said, well, if you just stood still and clapped your hand, I'd say, kill me effing now. Don't clap your hands. If you said, well, my neighbor claps her hands, and so does the neighbor over there. If you said, did their dogs come? Not that I can see. He said, what are you based on? The length of time they spend out there calling them. <laughs> anyway, this is my lookout tree house. And it's like new, except for the packaging is damaged. If you said, do you care about, hell no, I don't care about that. You saw that bad dog tore that bag of dog food open over there. Jesus, I gotta, I'm not even going to say anything to George because if you said why, George will say, I didn't leave the door open. And he did make this food corral. If you said, what's a food corral? It's what you have when you have a shoe bottom that decides to sample all the different brands of food. If you said, well, what do you mean? She's starving? Uh uh yeah, she's starving. So she has to rip holes in the bags and nibble them. <laughs> Anyway, that's going to be our little tree house. Oh, it's even got a periscope. And then we're going to hide the stuff on there. And instead of the, oh, look. The box is already getting more damaged. Well, there you go. All right, so if you said, what can you do? Oh, this is what I can do my puppy recall. If you said, what do you want to do? Get some distance. Oh, this is going to be good. Hang on. Oh, if I can get way over here before they see me. Oh, this is going to be good. All right, hang on. You guys get right here. Get right here. Oh, this is perfect. If you said, what have I got? A whole lot of distance. All right, well. If you said, are they going to go back down there? <laughs> Probably. If you said, why, why not? Why not? That was fun. Do you see why I like Amazon Warehouse and it deals? The issue that the box, the packaging is damaged. I could see if you were getting it for your kid for Christmas. You wouldn't want that. Me, my kids for Christmas. They like just tearing up the box. <laughs> okay, so I got both of them way over there. If you said, oh, it seems like there's maybe some crumbs from the dog food. So my dog is going to get them back over it this way. And you see how the pan helped me. She had her pin down, look at her. Oh, she's awful. Oh, she likes to pin them. 
She likes to pin them and they like to get pinned. Look at them, they're waiting to fall. <laughs> They've got a servant's heart. But that's what you're looking for. You see, I've got distance. And if you said, well, how, what would you control? I, I've, got a, I've got my pager, I've got the pan, I've got movement, I've got all of these things. Oh, M. Okay. I'm not going to do it anymore. I'm going to get shoe bottom in the house. Run her little tackle fest 2000. Look at her face. Look at her face. I'm going to tackle it any second. Okay. She'll start barking at me. I better do her bidding. Anyway, you guys get the idea. I have a lot of distance. And from there, yeah, I was way over there. So. If you said they were going at top speed, they had plenty of time to go, to, yes, much more than they would at 15 feet or whatever. So, you know, if that's your intention, you've got to give them room to get up to top speed. So, anyway, guys, I'll get inside. It's freezing out here. All right, guys.